Hello and welcome to this travel vlog. My name is Janika. We have just arrived to a city called Sevilla here in Spain. We have been traveling around the south of Spain now for two and a half weeks. Today we arrived to Sevilla from a city called Cadiz. We took the train and the trip took about one hour and 45 minutes and we have just checked out to our hotel. It seems really nice. We have a big spacious room and there's supposed to also be a swimming pool and a gym and that kind of stuff. We are though living a bit with a budget so the only downfall with this hotel so far at least is that it's a bit outside of the center so we do need to take a bus to get there but yeah it was quite cheap for five nights so can't really complain about the price at least Now we are just about to go downstairs and check out the pool and go for a bit of a dip. We have now arrived to the Cathedral of Sevilla and it looks really, really amazing already just from the outside of it. So I'm really excited to see the inside. I saw this cute looking rooftop bar from when we were up in the tower and we decided to come here for some drinks. The rooftop terrace was nice but I must say it is really expensive. We paid for two colas, 12 euros. 
So six euros per cola. I've been to quite a bit of rooftop terraces around the world. Um, but yeah, this was definitely one of the more pricey ones. We are now entering the famous Plaza de España. relaxing here at our hotel and freshening up a bit we are heading back to city center by bus and it's time for some dinner and i think we're gonna go to a tapas restaurant <laughs> Good morning! Today we have another day when we're gonna explore Sevilla. Our first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to the Alcazar of Sevilla. I must admit though that we are starting to get quite tired. My feet are full of blisters and yeah, pretty much every single day of this trip we walked very much. <laughs> I, don't th I think we've had one day when we walked a bit less and that day as well we did a workout so... Yeah, it's been a very physically active vacation, but yeah, we're heading now into the city of Sevilla. Yesterday we actually did a day trip to Cordoba and that was a really nice day. It is time to head to the bus station and first we're actually gonna have some breakfast or like brunch. And after having brunch we have a time slot at one o'clock to visit the Alcazar. <laughs>
rienda puerta. A rienda puerta. We came to this viewpoint. There would have also had some kind of immersive experience here, but we decided we only want to see the viewpoint. It costed less. And yeah, we're in a really cool elevator at the moment. I have any Finnish viewers here. Suomi mainittu torilla tavataan. We were literally just saying that it doesn't look like wood. <laughs> and then we see this. We are currently going out for some dinner. It is a Saturday night, but we don't have any reservations, so we're hoping that's not an issue. Also, we're not 100% sure what kind of food we want to eat. We have a few restaurants we've checked beforehand that might be good, or maybe we find just something while walking around. But yeah, let's see where we end up. And Sevilla is looking really beautiful during nighttime. We have come back home after a really nice evening. We went to this tapas restaurant and the food was really good and we really liked the place, it was a cozy place and the service was good. So if you're ever in Sevilla, I definitely recommend trying out that restaurant. And yeah, then we went out still for some drinks. And something that surprised me was that places close here quite early. Like most bars closed at like midnight or 1 a.m. Which is surprising for me because usually everything in Spain is open until quite late. Like I remember being in other parts of Spain before. And yeah, some clubs and stuff have been open until 6 a.m. even or yeah, quite late. But I don't know, maybe in Sevilla it's normal that they close earlier. I don't know if anyone does, please let me know. So we came back to the hotel room now and it's time to go to bed. And tomorrow is our last full day here, which feels weird, kind of good, also a bit sad. It's a bit mixed feelings, but we're still gonna enjoy tomorrow to the fullest.
So today we really want to do a boat tour here, but the line for the boat tour is really long and we don't really feel like being a boat that's really packed and we get some really bad seats because we're at the end of the line. So we started checking online and we found a cruise that's a much smaller boat, which I think will be cozier, but that one isn't until 6 p.m. and it's now around 12, 1 p.m. But we thought we'll do that one instead and do other things be here before. Actually might be the perfect thing to do around that time when we're already a bit tired from the day. But yeah, we're currently booking it and then we'll see what we come up with instead now. So we've been walking around for a little bit and we didn't really know what to do so we decided to come and eat we're not actually even that hungry but we stumbled accidentally across this really fun looking korean restaurant but yeah it's a bit funny that we're having korean food on our last day in spain maybe we should have something super spanish but we've had quite a lot of spanish food during this trip so i think it's fine So at the Korean restaurant, the portion I ordered happened to be extremely spicy. So I barely was able to eat it. And also the dumplings that it came with were meat dumplings, which I didn't realize. And as a vegetarian, that wasn't very good. So I basically ate nothing, <laughs> a little bit of rice and one egg. My boyfriend ended up eating my portion, most of it. And I came to a pizza slice place. Pizza slice? <laughs> Pizza slice, not splice. <laughs> I came to a place right next to it that sells pizza slices for two euros and they're quite big. So I'm happy again. It is finally time for our boat cruise and we chose this smaller boat instead of one of those big ones that are super full of people and I'm very much looking forward to it. And so our three week trip exploring Andalusia has come to an end. If you enjoyed this vlog, then check out also my previous vlogs from Spain. But for now, it is time to fly back home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.